Your family forget. Because the longer you hold on to unforgiveness, there are chemicals released. Oh, who wants those chemicals in my body? I want to be fit and healthy. I want to live to 100. Amen? How do you want to live to 100? God has designed us to live a long life. So is this good news or bad news? Yeah, in a one way, we can say it's bad news. Many, many years of toxic thinking, dark trees in our mind, what to do? Good news. You can detoxify your brain. The Bible says, hey, this is a process called Romans 12 to transformation by the renewal of your mind. In four days, if you think correctly, you can remove those toxic thorns in your mind. Praise God. And Carolyn Reef, she, a doctor, she says, in 21 days, by continuously speaking the word, you can change the way you think. Amen? Amen. How many of you want to change the way you think? Amen. You know, you cannot climb, some, I, I like what Sig Ziglar said, you cannot climb the ladder of success with the costume of failure. How true. Yes? yes? Never think of success and victory if you're constantly, you know, meditating on failure. Never. It'll never happen. You ought to think of what God has in store for you. That's what we meditate on next week. Speak the word. That's why I gave scripture last week to all the children. I hope the children are speaking. The day I began to speak scripture, hallelujah, things changed in my life. So first thing I do, I have these scriptures next to me. And now I memorize them. I look at them. Before any other thought can come into my mind, as soon as I wake up, thank you Lord, I'm a masterpiece. Intricately, fearfully and wonderfully made. I declare, I'm a royal child of God. Come with glory and honor. Before any other negative thing can come in. I declare that. As Jesus is, so am I in this world. I am loved. I am more than a conqueror. And I declare that over my children. I say, Michelle, Mabel, Joanna and Mama are more than conquerors. I declare that. You have to do it as dad and mom. You have to do it as children. Speak the word because the word has explosive power. What is happening? Faith comes by hearing. Doubt also comes by hearing. Every time you speak the word, Romans 10, 17, faith comes by hearing. When you speak the word, you are also hearing the word. Amen. Hallelujah. It's not for your neighbor, it's for yourself first. I like what somebody said. You cannot defeat the Goliaths of your life with your mouth shut. Oh, praise God. You got to defeat Goliaths by speaking the word. Amen. So change the way you think. Speak to God and say, God... I need to change the way I, I, I have been speaking. Ephesians 4, 23 says, Be constantly renewed in the spirit of your mind. Now just like the, the brain has 100 billion nerves, your heart also has 40,000 nerves. Praise God. Your heart also works in communication with your, with your uh, uh, free will. Praise God. And the heart advises the free will what to do. Praise God. The first place, that's why they say the battle of the mind is really a battle between flesh and spirit. It's a big battle. Every time you listen to the heart, the heart is also secreting something called, I said, ANF, atrial natriuretic factor. It's a chemical that calms the body down, praise God. It motivates you, it produces health in you, it helps the brain produce, you know, health in your body. That's why, you know, John says in 3 John 2, I wish of all things that you may prosper. Your health would prosper. Your soul would prosper. That means your mind would win and emotion would prosper. Why? Because he knows that the quality of your life is important. It's important. It's based on your thought life. So whatever toxic states have been operating in your body, I believe in this season, it's time for a change. That's your neighbor and say, hey, it's time for a change. It's a time for a change in my thinking. Guard your heart. That's why, you know, in Proverbs 23, 7, it says, as a man thinks in, it, in his heart, so is he. Whatever you think, that's what you will become. You become what you think. And the devil knows that better than any doctor. That's why he uh, you know, attacks your, your mind. Think of things that are lovely. Listen to what God has in store for you. And I believe in this season, with the help of the Holy Spirit, you can renew your mind. Touch your neighbor and say, renew your mind. <laughs> Whatever has been limiting you, you can renew your mind. Let me talk about this. A merry heart, we're going to start our message now. A merry heart does good like medicine, but a broken spirit dries the bones. 
I began to ask the Lord, Lord, what is this? Very hard, yes, I know. It's like medicine. It heals the heart. It gives comfort. But a broken spirit dries the bones. What's inside the bone? How does one have a broken spirit? We learned at the conference that a broken spirit comes through physical abuse, sexual abuse, mental abuse, you know, uh, uh, performance-based culture. All this causes a brokenness of the spirit. Someone who's supposed to love you didn't love you. Someone supposed to take care of you didn't take care of you. All this leads to a brokenness of the spirit. What happens when you're broken in your spirit? Your bones become dry. Let me just look at that uh, picture. Your bones become dry. What is inside your bone? Some of the people in the medical field will tell us. What's inside your bone? Marrow. Marrow, marrow. Marrow, yes. Praise God. Oh, you seem to know. Bone marrow inside your bones. And what does it do? Can we put that picture up? What does bone marrow do? All your cells, your blood cells are produced in your bone marrow. Praise God. And all your cells, you have two kinds of cells, WBC, white blood cells and red blood cells. Red blood cells carry hemoglobin and oxygen into your uh, stream. And white blood cells, important, they have two kinds of things, T cells and B cells. And the T cells does something. This protects you from infection. This is the one that protects you. It gives you immunity. Praise God. So what happens every time you have stress, every time you have a toxic thought, what is happening is, praise God, your adrenal gland, you know, you have some glands. The endocrine system has pituitary gland below your hypothalamus and uh, uh, adrenal gland. These glands produce a hormone called cortisol. You know cortisol? You've heard of cortisol, right? This stress hormone is produced into your bloodstream. That's how you have blocks in your heart. Uh, you know, uh, uh, that's how a person gets a stroke because no oxygen to the brain. There's issues of heart attack, correct? No blood uh, circulation towards your heart. How does this happen? Hey, cortisol is produced in high levels. And this cortisol destroys the white blood cells that gives you immunity. Amen. And I was thinking of it. Oh. A broken spirit dries the bone. So from your childhood, if you've been broken in your spirit, you've been experiencing all kinds of pains, joint pains, ah, uh, you know, uh, uh, allergies, more than 700, 800 kinds of allergies due to these. I was thinking, man, it's time to get over emotional, physical pain and allow the Holy Spirit to take over. That's why there's another chemical called histamine that's produced in the body. And that's why today antihistamine drugs are the number one drugs sold out across the counter in the world. Think about it. You know it, right? Why? Stress-related hormones produced in the body. How many of you want to walk and live a life of wholeness? You know, there's a lady that was in, uh, in the U.S. She had this disease called MCSEI. For five years, she was living in a small area, which is like a box, because she couldn't take any food. All that she could have was uh, just breadcrumbs. Think about it, five years of her life, breadcrumbs. She couldn't even bathe, she couldn't face light. She just lived in a very small space that was enough to have oxygen and take control of her respiratory system. And then a pastor, a famous pastor called Henry Wright came and prayed for her. And Henry Wright prayed this way, Lord, reveal to me what's happening with this lady. And God revealed to her, this lady, as she was being prayed for, got a, got a revelation, you know. The pastor revealed that she had a broken spirit. And then the first question that Henry Wright asked this lady is, what happened when you were young? What happened when you were young? This lady said, I was never loved by my father. I was despised by my father. A broken spirit crushed her five years of her life, lying in that place. You know what Henry Wright did? Prayed over her. What did she do? She released forgiveness. She renewed her mind. Spent about five to seven days speaking the word. You know what? High levels of cortisol is produced in her body, affecting her immune system. And when she was prayed that day, when she began to speak the word, she became healed. You know what she said? The first thing, for five years I never had a burger. Can I have a burger? She said, sure. And Henry Wright takes her out. And she had the first burger after five years. Think about it. She after that had an ice cream and enjoyed life. So many of us caught up in different kinds of ailments and sicknesses. I'm telling you, if you think right, you can be healed of many conditions in your body. Amen? Amen. And this is your season. You don't need anybody to come and lay hands on you. Amen. I'm telling you, 
if you meditate on God's word and have the right thinking, because God has great things in, do, in store for you. Numbers 30, 27, He has promised you to lead you in a land flowing with milk and honey. The very thing that the Israelites wanted sometimes were taken away from them. Milk and honey. Praise God. And God wants you to enjoy great things. Praise God. So forget it. Allergies. Oh, after having food, immediately running to the toilet. Forget it. Those times are changing. Amen. Amen. Those ailments in your joints are changing. Praise God. Amen. You are healed. Declare. You are well. Don't have to toxic thoughts in your spirit. Release forgiveness. That's why in 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 4 and 5, the Bible says, Every food created by God is good. Take it with thanksgiving. That's why when a man of God came here and said, Oh, you know, when they cut a chicken, they look towards the north, they look at Allah and sacrifice to Allah. So I was thinking, some of them that evening decided, okay, I'm not going to have chicken. And uh, after that, I came and corrected. And I said, hey, listen, I have chicken even the next day. And I, I checked with some men of God. It's okay. Because this verse says, every food that God created is good. Amen. 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 Praise God. But it doesn't mean that you go and partake of all the cultures that people do. This week, you know, there's an Indian festival called Onam. Don't, don't go and partake of those things. Amen. But it's okay to buy food from the hotel, bless it, sanctify and eat it. Because every food is good. Take it with thanksgiving. Amen? Amen. Because everything that you consume sometimes can corrupt your body. It's up to you. You know, did you know asthma, for example, has nothing to do with dust or pollen or, uh, uh, you know, it's triggered deep inside. Asthma happens because of a fear of abandonment. And a study was done statistically. You leave a baby near a mom, breastfeed it, it's taken care. It'll never have asthma for many years. But if babies are left in an incubator, they say asthma comes in within a few months. So look at the connection that uh, you know, bodily diseases have in terms of what it can do. Exodus 15, 26. If you hearken your voice to the Lord your God and do what is right, I will never put any of the diseases he put on the Egyptians. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. So it takes a moment to get over these toxic thoughts of fear, anxiety, stress, worry. That's causing brokenness in your spirit. Drying up of your bones. Hey, it's time to live a life whole. Amen. Don't you want to live a life whole? Let's look at the next picture. It's okay? You got it up? You know, disease begins in the, in the spirit realm. And the psalmist, yeah, this is what happens. You know, our memories, toxic memories are like this tree in our, in our minds. Every time you have a toxic memory, it's dark like this. But every time you speak the word, when you speak thoughts that are lovely and pure, what happens is you can flush out these toxic areas. If you look at the next picture. Good trees, good memories look like this in your brain. Praise God. And the next picture. When you speak the word, this is how it, it appears. You know, research is done. You can look it up. It's like a breeze through the trees. It reactivates, you know, pre-existing memories, good memories. And the next one. This just an example. If you're struggling with lust, this is how. A dark area is formed in your mind. And you live in hopelessness, thinking, when am I going to overcome that? Praise God. 21 days, 15 days, meditate on the word, and God will give you that courage and strength to overcome every toxic thought that you have. Is it worth having a toxic thought? No way. Because if it's going to make you whole, why spend time in something that's toxic? So I'm praying in this season that you, you will overcome every toxic thought of fear, anger, bitterness, unforgiveness, and you will walk in the wholeness that God has planned for you. Amen? Amen? Amen. I believe in this season, you don't have to you know, go to any men of God and receive prophetic words. Come on. You will speak the word over yourself. You will say to yourself, hey, barrenness, come on, come off of my name. Come off my body in Jesus' name. I'm fruitful. I will soar on wings like eagles. Somebody have a good... You look at the scripture, you might look at failure. Look at what scripture says, Habakkuk 3.16. Ha, ah, though the fig tree is empty, though the cattle and the sheep men are empty, there is no wine on the grapes, hallelujah, yet will I rejoice in the Lord my God. Amen. You have to learn to declare scripture over yourself. I'm telling you, it will transform your life. So in this season, 
in this next four weeks as we meditate on the word. I'm telling you, there's a real enemy who's at work. The Bible says in 1 Peter 5, be alert and sober mind, your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion. So Satan's target is what? Your mind. And his weapon is lies. He will keep whispering lies day after day, night after night. You have to take things in the spirit. Amen. And say, hey, my mind is more tenacious than it's ever been before. Praise God. In this season, as you meditate on the word, God will do great things. Don't have an anxious mind. Have a peaceful mind. Because every time you have a peaceful mind, when you release forgiveness, what does the heart do? It releases it releases a chemical called ANF that calms down your body. Praise God. I was thinking when one guy, you know, in my uh, workplace, many years back, abused me and, you know, put me into shame and shouted at me before 50 guys. I looked at him and said, God, I just want to leave this place, Lord. It's not work, worth working for this fool. I told myself. And I went, you know, <coughs> something happened, you know. I said, okay. He is like my dad. Just release forgiveness to him. And from that day, whenever he, he abuses either me or anybody in the workplace, what I do, I just release forgiveness. And what happens? ANF is released in my spirit. So no thoughts of anger, no unforgiveness. It's just a memory that's forgiven. Lush trees are flushed into my memory. Amen. Praise God. I can forgive that man easily. I'm telling you in this season, if you are able to do that, a peace chemical, peaceful hormones are released into your bloodstream. Amen. Dopamine is released. You know, serotonin is released. Ask the doctors here. Yes? Yes or no? That brings you comfort and health. Don't you want to live in health and wholeness? I believe. You attended a conference a few weeks, a few months ago. Great. But a broken spirit can dry your bones. I'm telling you. A broken spirit can crush you and lead you into, you know, being sick and living your life unwhole. But God's desire for you is wholeness. Amen. Stand up to your feet. We're going to take some moment to just declare God's will. Praise God. Praise God. Revelation 12.10. The devil is the accuser of the brother. He keeps whispering voices. I'm unworthy. I'm inferior. I'm inferior. And you believe those lies. And I'm telling you this morning, you can just reprogram your mind. The Lord is with you. Mighty man of warrior. Let's take a moment and just bring our thoughts to God. Say, God, I've listened to your word this morning. There have been many thoughts that have plagued my mind. Thoughts of failure, thoughts of defeat, thoughts of abandonment, toxic thoughts of bitterness, anger, unforgiveness, rage. I bring these thoughts to you. Come, I'll call the worship team up, even as they lead us. Begin to talk to God and bring your thought, thought life to Him. You become what you think. And you've been having a lot of toxic thoughts. Bring it to God this morning and say, God, I want to live in health and wholeness, Lord. Your word says a merry heart is like a medicine, but a broken spirit dries the bones. Lord, I have had a series of broken spirit, broken experiences. Somebody didn't love me. Somebody didn't care for me. Somebody abused me. Somebody rejected me. I bring those thoughts and those memories to you this morning. Come, talk to God. Talk to God and say, God, I bring those memories of God. And I'm living such an unwholesome life of God because of those thoughts. I want to change the way I think this morning of God. And Lord, I pray this morning that my thought life would change of God. I would change the way I think. I would change. I would have thoughts that are, and like Paul says in Philippians 4 8, thoughts that are pure, thoughts that are lovely, thoughts that are holy, wholesome, that would bring peace. And Lord, good hormones like endorphins, serotonin, dopamine, all would be released into the bloodstream. I just declare in Jesus' name. Come on, lift your hands up to God and say, God, Lord, I just submit my thought life to you. Your word is living and active sharper than any double-edged sword and is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents, intents of the heart. Thank you. Your word discerns thoughts. Our thoughts may not be publicly displayed or exposed, but you know our thoughts will. Your word says your thoughts are higher than our thoughts. Your ways are higher than our ways. We bring our thought life to you, O God. We submit them to you, O God. We resist the devil and he will flee. He has to flee, O oh God. For too long he's stolen our joy. He's stolen our peace. He's stolen our love. And this morning, I just, we just speak together in Jesus' name. The enemy has to flee. Every depressing thought leave in Jesus' name. 
every thoughts of failure, toxic thoughts of fear, anxiety, worry and stress, let it leave our thoughts, our minds in Jesus name. Let that be peace. Let peace chemicals be released. End of it. Serotonin be released in Jesus name and bring health and wholeness into every body. Thank you God. Thank you Lord. Come talk to God. Talk to God in the quietness of this hour even as you heard the word. A merry heart is like a medicine. A broken spirit dries the bones. Lord, many things have broken my spirit. Talk to God. And that's why my bones are dry. My WBC that's supposed to protect me. The T cells that are supposed to kill bacteria, fight against infection are not doing their job because these things are happening. Oh, stress hormones like cortisols are being produced, Lord, in my body because of my toxic thinking pattern. Lord, I pray in Jesus' name, every fear, every anxiety, every stress and worry and thoughts of failure and depression would move in Jesus' name. And I pray, oh God, I would be a man and woman of peace, oh God. I would be a man and woman of peace. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I am who you say I am. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. I believe, Lord, you're setting me free. Just lift your right hand up and say, I'm a warrior. I'm a mighty man of valor. I'm an overcomer. I'm loved by God. As he is, so am I in this world. I'm a royal child of God got to speak this word over and over every day every moment because if you have control over your thought life hallelujah your thought becomes words your words become actions your actions become character and your character becomes behavior and it becomes your destiny God this morning wants to change the direction of your life for too long you've been heading in the wrong direction praise God this morning he wants to change the course change the course of history because many of you sitting here are history makers. Touch your spirit and say, I am a history maker. I will change and impact nations. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, give glory to God. Give glory to God. Give him praise.
presence. Thank you. There is fullness of joy from this day forth, Lord. We come in our thought life, our minds to you, O oh God. Every person in this room, O oh God, is set free this, this morning, O oh God, by the power of your Holy Spirit, O oh God. Every negative thought, every toxic thought, we just bind and command it to leave in Jesus' name. And we speak healing, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Wholesome thoughts, thoughts that bring life and wholeness, Lord. We just praise you and thank you, God. Thank you as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. We just speak life over ourselves, oh God. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you that you give us hope and a future. And thank you that our hope is in you, oh God. When we trust in you, we have endless hope. With Christ, we have endless hope. We just thank you, God. Thank you for this time. Thank you. We come in our thoughts and you into your hands. Our minds, our bodies, our, our, our intellect. Thank you. We are becoming better and better, O oh God. Healthy and healthy, O oh God. From this day forth, nobody in this place will fall sick, O oh God. We will have the right thinking patterns, O oh God. Because we think right, we will sleep well, O oh God. You give your beloved sleep, O oh God. Every anybody struggling in this place with sleeplessness, we speak, Lord, health and wholeness into that person, O oh God. They will sleep well, rest well, O oh God. Anybody struggling, Lord, with breathing disorders, we speak into that into that body of God and, and say, you will think well, you will have the right thoughts and you will have a life of wholeness in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you that you're our healer. We give you glory and honor for this time. We come in, Lord, our entire being. Lord, we are a walking miracle of God. Thank you, Lord. We just can't fathom, Lord, what is inside of us. Lord, just, just, Lord, 0.001% of our brains we are using. So much more available. Three million years of storage space in this, in this brain. Lord, we are an amazing, walking, talking miracle of God. Thank you. 100 billion nerves, Lord. One subject is able to fit into one nerve. So much, Lord, is available. Lord, we pray in this, in this season, every person standing in this room, oh God, would be one who meditates on your word, oh God. And your word gives us hope and a future, oh God. And Lord, we pray, you've given that courage and the conviction, Lord, when a thought comes to process that thought in the right way. We would have, Lord, the right thoughts, thoughts that are noble, thoughts that are pure, thoughts that are holy, thoughts that are praiseworthy, Noteworthy. Lord, help us to process our thoughts well from this day forth. We give you glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. In the love of God the Father, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit be with us, especially in our thought life. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you. Have a blessed week. You know, it says, no one can destroy iron, but its own rust can. Likewise, no one can destroy a man, but his own mindset can. So have a good mindset this day for God bless you.